Hey, hello everyone, I'm Harder D, and we're back playing Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Uh, we just got our wooden sword that we can now beat the shit out of everything. So they're like, oh, there's some crabs over here. There's some dead crabs over here. Ooh, we got behind. Oh, some more dead crabs. So yeah, we just did that while we completed the hero's tutorial thing, pretty much. Now, everything is going to be our bitch. Haha! <laughs> This game has no idea what's gonna happen to us. What's over here? Ooh. There is a whole lot of nothing. I can push on nothing. Sweet. Alright, so now we gotta return back to Horgrim Village. And some... Ah, take that. And we are back in the village. Oh, it's spring now. It was winter here before, but now we're back to spring. And I'm gonna be a dick and totally ruin these people's harvest. And destroy these flowers. No one shall have nice flowers. Ooh, I found five blocks. If only that was real life where you could, like... Oh, what's this? Ooh, that looks exciting. Whee! If only in real life you could just, like, go kick some flowers and then, like, five bucks appears. Let me tell you, life would be so much easier. Ooh, what's here? Hello, woman. This is the mayor's home. The mayor is fascinated with Gashinots. Now the palace, the planter, and the planter's deeds affected what the nut produces. The mayor found a good place recently, so he is quite happy. Alright, can I fix this up? I have no ability of picking or slashing. Ah, oh, there's our mayor. Hello, I'm Root, mayor of Hallrun Village. Do you have any gasha things? If you plant one in soft, uh, it will be grow into a tree and will bear nuts. Inside those nuts, you will find all sorts of things. And so far, I can't help myself. There's some softers just outside. Plant it there. You don't know about gasha things? You're missing out. I'll give you my prize, Gasha Seed, to welcome you to town! You got the Gasha Seed, plant it, in a patch of some off soil. There's some soft earth, just outside, plant it now! Or else I'll fucking kill you! Alright, so this is soft earth full over here, so we can plant our seed. There we go, cute little flower there. And that's gonna grow up to be a tree, and we get things in this game called rings and ring ball. Well, you never know what rings are. But they have such amazing benefits. Um, sometimes. Alright, now let's go destroy this gate. Man, I literally just like flexed that door open. Alright. Here comes some exposition, guys. Get ready. Who's that? Did you wake me? Who are you? What? It was taken while I slept. There's no sign of the Temple of Seasons? This is awful. Guarding the... Oh, Oracle is my duty. <laughs> duty, because I can't poop on a tree. Alas, how I wish. What's to be done, Prom? With the seasons and chaos, the land is rough in the very essence of nature. Trading all of my might. Can you save it in my stead? Cause I'm kind of a fucking tree and can't move. It is all this maker tree has ever asked. I sense evil of the northern peak, where the temple of seasons rests. Onyx has cast a shadow on the northern peak. I think you will find him there. You'll need the eight essences of nature that lie sleeping in the holding room. Gathering all eight is the only option. <laughs> the essence of possess the sacred power of nature, with which you can break the shadow barrier and save Tin. Shall I repeat myself? Ah, hells no! Then I give you this key. Go to the giant room near the lake of North. The first essence should be there, but I'd expect some resistance. Be careful. I'll just <sighs> rest until well. Oh, I have to. Thanks, tree. You've been nothing but helpful. Die. 
I didn't want to accidentally pop pop his bubble and be like, let me repeat this all again. Alright, so we got a sword, we got a key. We're just gonna uh, destroy some stuff over here. Oh, my, my apples are gone. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, the light in here is too dim to read by. Can anyone light my fire? Whoa, buddy, I'm not looking for a romance. I was just wondering what's going on in your house. You guys are like, there is fire in my sheets. Maybe you should go look for it. <laughs> oh, I'll join you in a film. <laughs> All right. What do we got over here? Ooh. There's a walrus man over here. Oh, God, you the mango tree stands between the gate to the east of town. It said a hero with a sword will come to speak with him. Although he's utterly dumb. I wonder if it's true. Ah, if only I was younger. Okay. Alrighty, and then there's a house over here. Oh, there's a plant. Haha, <laughs> destroy these plants. Alright, what do we got? What do we got here? I am... <clears throat> I am Pippin, the expert arborist. And I know plenty about trees. Now let me tell you something. Blossom and I just had our first child. Yes, we did it. Have a look. It's a fucking baby. I am Blossom. This is my first child, a healthy baby boy. But I am having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? Uh... We're gonna call him Poops. <laughs> He's gonna be named Poops. You would name him Poops? Yeah, totally. It's a fine name! That's what I'll call him! He seems happy to have it! Come visit us anytime! Cause Poops will be looking forward to you! <laughs> your name is Poops! See, this is why you never let random strangers name your children. Because you never know when they're all like, Oh, this is gonna affect me for the rest of their life. I, I gotta get it. Most grass. Ah, stupid mushroom. Ooh, there's a fairy. Not that I need it. So I wonder if that store is open yet. Not this one. I mean, maybe the shop's open. Oh, the shop is open. Ah, oh, screw you, I'm not buying shit. This other store that's up here, actually. Nah, I don't want to talk to you guys. There's actually a store up here that only is open in the Game Boy Advance, which is weird. Um, okay, so I'm playing this on an emulator right now. Uh, hold on, let me just, um, oh, shit. I'll do it between game, I mean, between episodes. But essentially, um, I want to make sure that this uh, emulator is running at, um, at, on a Game Boy set, like Game Boy Advance setting, because that's called the Advance Shop, and you can buy stuff in there that's actually really good, but only if you're playing with Game Boy Advance. Just so you know, I do own this game, like, physical copy, but instead of hooking up my, uh, GameCube that I have the attachment to play Game Boy games on, it's more cost. I'll just play this. This is how I, you know, played games beforehand, you know, before I, you know, became an adult and was able to buy everything myself. A, a, no, sorry, a no, I don't remember her voice. A gnarled root? You were straight from here, and I'm sure I saw one there. Go with caution. <laughs> That's the thing. I have a terrible memory, so it's all like, when I'm like... So I'm like, you know, playing around and all like, Oh man, this is pretty cool, and then it's all like, I immediately forgot what voice I gave you. Hey, 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 get Get, get, get down! Look, no matter how much I call her, my precious mittens won't come down. If only I had a favorite treat, fish. Well, there's the lake. Nothing stopping you, buddy. Oh, that looks dangerous. Bunch of holes. Whoa, murder plan. But yeah, so I have to make sure that uh, the emulator is actually running as a Game Boy Advance and not a Game Boy Color, because that way I get access to that shop. This is a fantastic game. It's also got ooh, there's a W. It's also got a linked game called Zelda Oracle of Seasons, which I will play that too. Um, and yeah, it's the same thing where it's all like you know you can go in there and oh, it's just a bunch of really good stuff. This game's fantastic. 
My dad, Talon, went to find Mount Cuckoo, so I have to take care of our hens. But there's so much I don't know. Wow, so to sum up, she literally, I came into her house and she literally explained that she doesn't know anything. So like, well, why do you even bother to start talking? Like, you've just been like, well, what do you want? But no, it's all like, let me tell you a long detailed reason why I don't know stuff. Oh, little guy here. Oh, man, this looks gross. And, ooh, what's this little tea thingy? That's, come on. There we go. Tree popped out of nowhere! Trees generally don't come from underground, but well, okay, they do. <laughs> but not like that. Ooh, level one, gnarled root dungeon. Ooh, that's exciting. Whoa! Things are watching me. Hey guys, don't be peepers. Ooh, a fairy. Oh man, I bet I have to do some rock pushing! Some black pushing, there! We go. Alright, let's go right. Right feels good. Let's jump over here. Whoa! Skeletal dudes! Uh, I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called like staff or something. I, I don't remember the exact number of things all about. Ooh. We got a key. Whoop. Perfect. Oh, I can't get in there. Let me in! Shucks. Alright, so back into the room. Oh, we need to block push some more. There we go, we're up. Oh, this is old man! Return light un to unlit torches! That's it? Return light to unlit torches? I fucking just told you that! Shut up, old man! No one likes you! Jeez, time for a waste of time. You're a waste of time! Old people in this generation. <laughs> Kill some skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> Press left to see it. The darkened rooms are what you haven't been to yet. Cool. Whoa, whoa, ah! And they explode into smaller versions of themselves. That, ah! They latch onto me and I can't use my sword. Ah, ah! I'm scared, they're all cute and small. Ah! Okay, get up I need to burn you. Ah, not again. Oh, what is this? Uh, whoop! Woohoo! Woo! Oh, we got some moblins going on over here. Well, that moblin is a boomerang. I want a boomerang. That's what you get. Alright, what's up here? Let's see. Uh, ooh, a switch. Ooh, that changed the direction. Very nice. Ooh, and a chest. I do love being a chest. Your position, locate chests, and find key gnarly. <laughs> Ow! What a dick bat. And <laughs> dick bat. <laughs> I literally just pictured this like dick being like flying. Man, I am so good at pushing blocks. What do we got in here? <gasps> Is this a block pushing puzzle? It's a block pushing puzzle. Alright, what do we got? Um. Wait. Poop! I messed that up. Ah! Crap! Ah, there we go. I messed that one up. Alright, round two. Back to block pushing. Alright, so, let's, um... Nope. Wow, I'm really sucking at this. Come on, give me... There. Okay, oh, never mind, I can only push that block down. I don't think I'm supposed to do this block puzzle from the downside. If anyone's watching, I totally meant to do, meant to do that. Back on the roller coaster. Woohoo! I can smash while I'm on here. Yeah! Whoa, there's some more bats! And there's totally a chest over there. Boop, 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 boop! Yes, please. You got ten bombs. Oh, yeah. I'm about to wreck the world. What can be blown up? 
the better question is, what can't be blown up? Alright, so this says that there's a secret somewhere in this room. That's what that sounds like. Is that there's a secret. Oh, it's probably that. Uh, hello there. Ah! 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 Get away! This weird thing's chasing me! Ooh, we got another small key! Used to unlock a door in the dungeon! Ah! It's coming back! There we go. Man, we're kicking the crap out of this dungeon. Oh, I wonder if that's a bombable ex you know, wall crack right there. Will it be? We'll find out next time on Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Stay tuned as there's more to come after these messages. Bye-bye!